John invests $1,200 into two bank accounts earning simple interest. One account has a rate of 4% per year and the other has a rate of 3% per year. After one year, he has earned $43 in interest. How much did he invest at each interest rate? For any word problems involving equations, it's always important to introduce the variables using let statements. We must consider what is being asked for when deciding what the variables should represent. We then develop a system of equations that represents the given situation. In this case, for simple interest, we can use the formula I equals PRT. The I corresponds to the interest earned, P for the principal, which is the amount invested, R is the annual interest rate, which must be expressed in decimal form, and T is the time that the principal is invested for in years. Note that in this question, T equals 1, since the $1,200 is invested for one year. Finally, we solve the system. For this question, we want to figure out how much was invested at each interest rate. We can therefore say that X is the amount invested at 4% and Y the amount invested at 3%. Note that these actually correspond to the principal for the 4% account and 3% account. We then have to come up with equations corresponding to the situation. The first equation can correspond to the total amounts invested. These must add up to 1,200, which is the total amount placed in the bank accounts. The other equation involves the total interest. 0.04x is the total interest from the 4% account, and 0.03y the total interest from the 3% account. Note that the 4% and 3% had to be converted into decimal form. We can then solve this system of equations using either elimination or substitution. In this case, I will use the substitution method. Using the first equation, x plus y equals 1,200, I can isolate for y by subtracting x from both sides. This results in y equals 1200 minus x. We can then look at the other equation and substitute 1200 minus x in place of y. We can distribute the 0 0.03 through the brackets, giving us 36 minus 0.03x. We then subtract 36 from both sides after we combine the like terms. This gives us a result of 0.01x equals 7. We can then solve for x by dividing both sides by 0.01. This gives x equals 700. We can then use the equation y equals 1200 minus x and substitute x equals 700. This gives a result of y equals 500. Recall that x is the amount invested at 4% and y is the amount invested at 3%. We now know then that John invested $700 at 4% and $500 at 3%.